Radio and a show. I'm Kai. Once again, I want to thank Russell Crowe for stopping in today. What a great way to start the show for Whip Em Out Wednesday. Winner of uh, Best Actor for Gladiator in the uh, movie that was uh, Best Picture. The most famous person in the world right now. Got a little time, a little short. We would have liked to have him on a, a little longer than 20 minutes, but that's cool. Well, Anthony, he's on the press junkets. Yes. But, I mean, the 20 minutes we had with him was great. Russell Crowe. It seemed like he had a good time, you know? Well, hopefully he'll uh, be back and not forget his uh, appearance on the OBI. I was unbelievable what he said about Meg Ryan. I know. I kind of had my suspicions about that. And then to hear it right from him, it's like, oh, my God. Pretty cool. I think Penny Crone's on the line and she's pissed off. Oh, yeah. Penny. Yo. What's wrong? What are you whipping me for? What happened? Because you looked silly on the news last night. I look silly on the news. You don't sound silly like every day on the radio. But, I look silly on but, the news. But, we're, but that's our job. You're a reporter. And who is this stupid fireman that called up and said he'd rather run through a burning building? What, is he gay? <laughs> oh, my God. Penny, he was the guy you were grinding on, Penny. Okay. Penny, you're not a looker. I mean, let's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I am a looker. <laughs> what are yeah. you looking for? He's looking. They're running. <laughs> yeah, I am a looker. How's that? No, Penny, I, I tuned in the, the, the 10 o'clock news, and the, do you know who the guy was that was dry humping on that stage last night. Uh, yeah, I know. He was from the Sopranos, and he was the guy that raped uh, Tony Soprano's psychiatrist. Right. right? But you, right. Didn't, you didn't know that at the I time. I know that. What, what do I'm going to do? I'm going to plug Tony Soprano in that show? Well, you don't like the Sopranos? Yeah, I, like that. I love the Sopranos. Oh, you were getting not? dry humped by a rapist. How yeah. cool is that? That is totally cool. But, you know, why are you bad rapping me? I've never said anything about you guys. He should have He should have uh, taken you to the stairwell. <laughs> That would have been pretty good. <laughs> it's just what we do, Patty. No, I just wanted to say that a couple of people called me up and said that these firemen were calling up and saying that I I was a dog or something. No, you were you were uh, grinding on the firemen. Well, you're not... you're supposed to be a responsible journalist. Hey, Penny, if you want to feel good about yourself, hell, I'll, I'll, all right, I'll throw you one. Okay. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, nothing. I, I had something in my throat. Are you going to throw her one? What are you going to throw her? We were, we were defending you because uh, one fireman called up and said that uh, they're used to seeing you bent over in the firehouse. <laughs> and, we, and we said, come on, that's, that's obviously a rumor. You can't say that about Penny Crone. Well, you know what? I had a really good time last night, okay? It and, looked it. And I never said anything about you guys. I love you guys. We listen to you guys all the time. And you're ripping me, and that's not right, you know? You know, I hate when the people call after we rip them. We never think anyone's listening to this goddamn show. Did you hear what we said about Sarah Jessica Parker and she called us? Oh, did she? Because she was listening to us. Oh, really? We called her uh, Ruth Buzzy in a, in a nice dress. <laughs> so, ha, next thing you know, she's calling, and she was like, her feelings were hurt. Well, you, you do hurt people's feelings, you know, right? And, and a lot of good, the guys here at Fox, uh, Deepu and Jonathan said, go right up to the studios. Forget calling them. Uh, I, I, no, I don't want to see it too close. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, I got a question for you. As long as you're insulting me. Yeah, I guess. What happened to your XFL pregame show? Uh, hey, that, they tanked, Penny. Uh, yeah. We got fired, but NBC said it had nothing to do with our performance. Yeah, that's what management always says, isn't it? <laughs> Ouch. See, we can play. You heard us, but that's okay. But they swear it had nothing to do with us. Well, let me just tell you one thing. I'll let you go back to your show. But yeah. I'm very sexy. I'm very good looking. And you're very lucky to have me with these firemen. Or these firemen are lucky. Uh, and, Brandy, we're, we're looking forward to the uh, sequel to the movie you made, Century Sex 2. <laughs> Very funny. Well, I haven't seen what you two look like. That's why you both, you both have perfect faces for radio. Oh, yes. Well, we, we do okay, Penny. We do okay. Well, listen, you're very charming, very good on there. Please do not insult me again. Uh, uh, unless, you, unless you ask for it. Yeah, I'm you're not. Grinding, you you're grinding on firemen. You're asking for it. <laughs> yeah, Penny, you can't do a story like that and not expect someone to, someone to goof on you. You were dirty dancing with firemen dirty that were like dancing. half your age. Baby, I'm hey. going to lift you in the air now. <laughs> they're not half my age. They're, they're uh, three quarters my age. Three quarters your age. Yeah. Ah, all right. Whatever you what want. Are you, what are you pushing now, Penny? Uh, 50. 50? Yeah. Oh. How about that? I had you pegged for... I'm proud of it. How's that? I had you pegged for a different age. I, have, I run four <laughs> miles every day. I'm in great shape. Hey, How old are you? you? Bring the stick back. How Penny? old are you? I'm uh, 48. <laughs> You know what happens to men in 48, don't you? What, prostate? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I you, got, you better get checked. I got many years before that. But, Penny, um, is it a facelift? 
No, it's not a facelift. I'm in good shape. I'm sexy. I get it all the time. You okay? do? Huh? Oh. Yeah. Who's slipping it to Penny Crone? <laughs> <laughs> you're grossing a lot of people out, Penny. <laughs> you're, you're a good reporter, but I don't think we want to think about you having sex. Well, baby, you should only be so lucky. She does have those ample uh, breasts. <laughs> hey, guys, yeah. I'm going to let you go. All right, <laughs> Yeah, I know you will. And uh, have a great day, and please don't pick on me or Sarah Jessica Parker, okay? All right, Penny. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. I love when they call in. I hate when they call in. I love when they call in. There she is, Penny Crone. Damn. What? How come when we talk about George W. Bush or Clinton, we don't get that call? Hi, I heard you. Come on, stop bashing. How do we go from Russell Crowe to Penny Crone? Penny Crone, all in like five minutes. Troy, what's up? Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey. I didn't catch the interview, but uh, in one of the local papers over here, I'm over here in Jersey. Yeah. Um, some uh, college student over in Princeton where he's filming that movie. Yeah. And he's doing right now. Uh, she took a couple snapshots of him, and one of them is of uh, him flipping her the bird. Yeah, that was in the paper so? today. We talked uh, to Russell about it. He was just kind of in a bad uh, mood. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed, and he, and he apologized on our show today. It was kind of cool. And oh, really? Said, you cool. know, he's a guy. You never flipped the bird? <laughs> Uh, just, yeah, once in a while. It's just a guy, you know, why not? You flip the bird. All right, Troy. Yeah, right. Penny Crone having sex? God, I'm, I'm, I'm horrified. <laughs> I'm sick to my stomach right now. That's the best image we're going to give you guys today. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Troy. Another right, thing, uh, the Russell Crowe interview we just did is, is uh, uh, the dumps. Yeah. Oh, my God. that The C word is very popular with uh, Australians. They use it for everything. You know, they say hello with the C word. So I think we might have set a dump record for an interview on that one. That was a lot of fun. I, I mean, can't wait to, when we replay the uh, bleep version. It's always well. A lot we'll better. replay it during the worst of show on uh, Saturday yeah. between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. Right? Yes. And you'll find out why he really dumped uh, Meg Ryan and all that. Dennis Leary yesterday, Russell Crowe today. Drudge Jr. What's going on? I uh, I didn't want to say it's on air, but I've got an interview with uh, one of the Olsen twins agents. You got oh, 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 I thought they shared the same agent. Well, yeah, but they have, like, publicity agents. And oh, oh, I, it's not the head dude with those bad uh, hair plugs that didn't take, is so it? So you're, you're not interviewing the Olsen twins, you're going to interview their agent. Yeah. Why? I, oh, I said that uh, it was about their magazine, and I was doing a story for my newspaper. Yeah. But uh, I guess I can ask them some questions about the innuendo in their songs or something. Why, why can't you talk to the Olsen twins? What, did, what reason they give you? Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I guess I can ask them, but... Hey, oh, uh, if you scored that. Drudge Jr., you're finding it pretty hard to uh, to be a reporter, huh? No. We have some great <laughs> stories. <laughs> you see, he stands behind his stories and stuff. Give us one of uh, one of the great stories. What's a new one? What are you working on? Yeah. Well, Drug, I'm uh, yeah. trying to get some information from the Now organization about what they're planning to do with you guys. No, they're threatening you. Oh, with the um, they don't like Whip Them Out Wednesday, and they don't like some of the uh, discussions we've had here on the air. Yeah. Now is the National Organization of Women. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, have they gotten back to you, Drug uh, Junior? No, I've emailed them and I tried to call them, and they said that they'll. Look at my email. But Call them twats and they uh, get right back to you. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Yeah. Anything else? Any other stories you're working on? Uh, somebody said that I have a new source from a publishing company yep. that says that they're a very popular publishing company. It says they're trying to get a book that Monica Lewinsky is writing. A, a book that she's writing? Uh, I, didn't she write a book already? I think so, but... Uh, she's going to write another one. Right? Another one? Oh, yeah, there's so many unanswered questions. From the first one. Yeah. What's it called? When when they pull out? Jesus. Anything else, Drudge Who Jr.? cares? Not anything really. else? Doesn't really sound like you got anything concrete. Just some well, I, dealers out there. I just wanted to tell you that I'm having an interview with one of the Olsen Twins agents. And if there's any yeah. questions you want me to ask him before he hangs up on me. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Olsen Twin agent. Yeah, uh, ask him if they would come on our show. Yeah. Well, they've probably heard of you. I'll ask them that. That's all right. Well, we'll tell the agent we just had Russell Crowe on. Uh, we can handle the big interviews now. Yeah, like Penny Crone. All right, Penny Crone. Interviews. She's pretty big, Penny Crone. Sure. Right. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> Drudge, all right? Pretty yep. big and ugly. Drudge Jr., you all right? Hey there, Drudge uh, Jr., you sound like you're, you're on the drugs. You don't do the drugs, do you? Did you just get home from school? Yes. Did you have your milk and cookies? What was <laughs> yeah. What was today's snack after school? 
<laughs> yeah, I used to school. love the the snack after school. I can only imagine what it was at the uh, Opie house. Mama would have uh, snacks waiting. Saltines and warm water. Uh, my brother probably <laughs> could uh, remind me of how bad it was. Probably a bruised apple. Yeah. Sure. With uh, with not even skim milk, uh, powdered milk. Nice. Powdered milk? Yeah, we couldn't afford... Uh, Real milk in our family. You made that powdered milk stuff? Oh, yeah. Ugh. And we had to water down our orange juice. couple stories for another time. Uh, Drudge? Yes? A lot of people saying you're a fraud because you really haven't come up with anything. Uh, sure I have. You haven't really come up with any exclusives. Why don't you go to my site? I've got a few good stories. Yeah? Well, we have you on the air. Just tell us one of your good stories. Yeah, go ahead. Tease us. Well, uh... What do you think of, uh, um... Uh, the picture of Jesus that made the paper today. Didn't know they had cameras back then. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that. Uh, that's like, the crowd's turn, I think. Looks like he was at the Puerto Rican Day Parade. I know, over the summer. I actually had Jesus uh, drove me down to Penn Station in the uh, cab <laughs> the other day. It was Jesus. Looked just like him. I didn't realize Jesus had one of those uh, wacky eyes. I saw Jesus throwing rocks at some Israeli soldiers on the news the other night. So who's calling me a fraud? Uh, a lot of people, because, quite frankly, you don't have any exclusive. No, they're calling you Fraud Junior. Like, the Get real drudge had the picture of Jesus. Now, that's a coup. Yeah. What do you got a picture of? I have a picture of Rudy Giuliani with uh, the head of the Russian Mafia. Oh, yeah? Yeah. On your Drudge Junior site? Yep. And that's an exclusive that uh, only you have? Uh, probably not. And how'd you get this picture? <laughs> Found it off another site. <laughs> you lifted it off. You lifted it. <laughs> the, the, your hero Drudge is not lifting pictures. He's got the picture of Jesus. He didn't yeah. get that any, from anywhere else. Well, why don't you take a look at my site? Can I give it off over the air? Yeah, go ahead. All right. DrudgeJr.homestead.com. Okay. And I'm sure I'll get many serious questions from all your fans, but... Oh, well, yeah, of course, serious they'll, questions. They'll see all. my previous stories and see how professional they are. All right. Well, uh, someone wants to know if you have anything positive in your life. Yeah. Sure, I do. Things going okay? You're getting good grades and all? I'm a, I'm a reporter for the top rated show in New York. Uh, what show would that be? Your show. Oh, our show. show. Oh. Sean Drudge Jr. moves to WNEW. That's right. Drudge Wales on ONA? What does that mean? Well, that's the real Drudge. Remember, I called oh, you about oh, that right, last week. Oh, right. Let's see, without the junior. Something, something's wrong with the link to that. It goes to another page. Well, why don't you fix it? I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah, no, listen to what he writes. Opie, listen to this. The Drudge Jr. report is like the Drudge report, but not with as big stories. I'm just a kid. Geez. I should have a new story every week you can find on this site. Many stories will be about the radio because that is where I find most of my stories. My character is now recognized by WABC and WNEW, but more so on WNEW's popular midday show. It's an afternoon show, my friend. I know, I didn't write that. No, Opie and know. Anthony, many of my exclusives will appear on ONA's message board. Mm. OpieAnthony.com. That worked. Now, uh, but you haven't given us one exclusive. Yeah. We've been waiting. Comedy World thing. The, the Comedy World thing, we, we proved to you was, a, was false. <laughs> We're not going to be working for Comedy World. Right. Well, There's exclusive is true enough. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have an exclusive. Margins just landed. <laughs> All Good right, point. let's see. Where is the... Um, read the part that... Oh, go, go to past stories. Past stories? Okay. Hold on. My first two... My first uh, three stories are good. Here's his disclaimer, Opie, quickly. Articles from the Drudge Jr. Report are from are from often reliable sources. I assure you I'm not just making these up. If you have a problem with any of these stories, simply press the send my, send my a message button located on every page. Stories it took me five minutes to me, so there's a few typos. Stories may be false, but usually are based on some truth. If a story is in any way fa fala fallacious. 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 That's, what, okay. that's a big word for 13 year old. As soon as it is pointed out, okay. it will be removed. Send my a message. <laughs> All right. Recent stories? Past stories? Yeah, recent stories. Giuliani may have tried to cover up KKK donations. What's that story about, quickly? Well, uh, I, found, I happened to this 
that I work for the Clarence Hotmail account. <laughs> and there was this email about how they they gave uh, money to Giuliani and they didn't accept it. I got an exclusive. Drudge Jr. arrested for hacking. Wait, as, uh, so he wanted to, uh, the KKK wanted to give uh, money to the mayor, but uh, the mayor didn't accept it? Yeah, I think so. But that stuff happens all the time. Why is, why would that be a big story? Well, media didn't pick up on it. We once got a letter from the KKK. They yeah. invited us to one of their meetings. Uh-oh, that's going to be the next exclusive. O&A, attend Klan meeting. This goes way back. We had we have KKK uh, letterhead and everything. Yeah. Written from Anthony. It's pretty scary. What else you got? That's about it. Uh, next story's good, too. The um, That would be the one. Let me look. A uh, Christian organization targets high schoolers? Yep. Um, what is that? Uh, quick well, question. there's this organization that tries to go into the high school and they uh, try to... It's like a, a missionary club. Yeah? They like the missionary uh, position. What is that? <laughs> you know, they try to yeah. make people Christians. Wow, Drudge. You, you, you're falling asleep. You got you. You got to have more energy. You know how the real drudge is like. You know, and this story now hitting the uh, wire, and he's got his hat and everything. Yeah, you sitting there with your hat on? Yeah, I got a Mets hat. A Mets hat. Yeah. So you can't just and then I got a story about this uh, thing. Oh. Hold on, someone say hi to you, uh, Mike. What's going on? What's up, guys? Hey, Drudge, you're nothing but a neo-galactic zoom dweeby. I didn't hear a word you just said. You're nothing more than a neo-galactic Zoom dweeby. What is that? Yeah, what I don't know. Oh, okay. Something uh, thank you for your wonderful remarks. Uh, no problem. At least he's doing something with his life. You know? Oh, so am I. I'm a full-time college student. I don't know what this kid's doing. He sits home all day, picks his ass, and uh, goes to drugs. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll go to college. What grade, are you, what grade are you in, uh, Drudge Jr.? In eighth grade. He's an eighth grader, Mike. Oh. When I was in eighth grade, I was playing ball with my friends every day after school. I was delivering penny savers. <laughs> and he's, uh, he, he's, uh, I don't even know. It's pathetic. Yeah, Hope my kid doesn't turn out like yeah, you. Some good insult. Thank you very much. Yeah, I like, I like the Drudge Jr. Drudge he's all right. Jr. is all right. He's trying to make he's, something of himself. He's got nothing. a website. He's, he's trying, you know, he's uh, trying to get some stories together. But nothing is factual. Comedyworld.com, what the hell would you guys be doing in L.A.? Yeah, I know. I know. That was that was really a little off, that, that, that story. I remember listening that day, and I was just shocked. To this, to that this guy day, still doesn't deny it. Oh, to this oh day, my God. To this day, people come up to us and say that, too. I was at uh, Caroline's for, for Brian Regan, and yeah. people were like, man, I hope you're not going to L.A. I'm, 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 we're not going to L.A. Oh, no one believes us because of Drudge Jr. Kid, pick up a baseball glove or something. <laughs> you play sports, Drudge? Kinda. Yeah, what uh, do you play? Play baseball. You play chess. What position I, I in baseball? I do play chess. <laughs> I do play chess. <laughs> That's all right. I played a little chess in my day. All right, Judge Jr. Guys, have a good night. Thank you, Mike. All right. We're going to let you go, Judge Jr. Right, see you later. You want to tease your next story? Anything else you're working on? Yeah. I just told you about the... Michael wants to thing in the now organization. Oh, yeah, that's, right. that's too big. That's going to be a big story when they email me back. Ah, okay. Keep us posted, Drudge Jr. All right. All right, Drudge. See you later. All there right. he goes. I'm right, going to go read my massive Hobnail account. <laughs> all right, bye. Right. Hey, wait, give it. All right, we give out the website. Anyway. Yeah, he better okay. only give it out once. Yeah, he doesn't have, <laughs> doesn't have a lot of space in there. He's like big rumor guy <laughs> it's like like uh, i can't help thinking of uh, homer simpson when he got his computer i missed your ex and he kept his printing lies yeah <laughs> this show's going bad fast we started with russell crowe oh my god went I know. to penny crone from fox news and now we're down to drudge jr drudge jr who's gonna be checking in next <laughs> if uh he spent more time yanking his crank he wouldn't be wasting up a time <laughs> All right. Anthony, as we go to break, just want to remind everyone to vote for the best ass contest.